Hello folks, in this video you're going to see another cool design by Peter Dima and Kevin Braun in this Mega V12 that is has a total of 1200 cubic inches of displacement, 20 liters, potentially producing 3000 horsepower. It's driven by twin superchargers off a of belt drive. You're going to hear a little bit more about how this motor came about and why from both Pete and Kevin. So Pete and Kevin, I know we have another one I want to just feature real quick and maybe Kevin you can tell me what is this monster that I'm looking at here? Well, originally the idea was to try to get some noise back into the unlimited hydroplanes because nobody likes the, the turbine engines. And so we, we designed it and built it, you know, to go into a hydroplane. It's, um, you know, it's 1200 cubic inches, um, mechanical uh, belt driven blowers, open exhausts and uh, so far we've made about 1800 horsepower on seven pounds of boost so wow those are huge well it's the idea was we try the idea is to try to make 3000 horsepower but we never haven't really <laughs> the interest or backing to do do much more with it so is this similar to the um the 369 cube inch 12 or did you guys make the no, block this or is, what did this it come isn't from? Our, entirely our design it was uh i'm based kind of copied similar things off of an allison aircraft engine but it's um the way we made the rockers are similar other than this a three valve not a four valve um we made the crank case we had scott uh scat crank shafts make the crank and uh you know snyder did ground the heads for us or the cams for us it's um, good. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, go we, ahead, Kevin. We made our we made the heads from scratch. So we we designed and made them. It has two spark plugs per cylinder because you got a five and five eighths bore. You figured it's such a big bore. We want to make sure we had, you know, be able to light all the <laughs> light it off. Light it off correctly. Wow. Yeah. And I know like the small V12. On, I mean, most people thought that was a big V12, but the small V12. Took you guys what two three years to build what what was the time to build this we were right around two years um but it's been sitting for more longer than it took us to build it it took um it took i think about nine months to get a crankshaft for this um for some reason it took longer to get the crankshaft for the little 12. <laughs> yeah well that was during covid though too right so, some of it yeah this, yeah. wow yeah. this thing is a beast uh, what does it sound like when it runs? I mean, I know we can't start right now, but is it is it pretty loud, pretty wicked sounding? Is it? It's my ringtone on my phone. It is. <laughs> okay. We can uh, we can get it running here um, in a future issue. I gather future. Yeah. So is this a blow off valve right here? Yeah. The plate. That was so because we were we actually ruined one of the intercoolers because it backfired. So there are two inner coolers in here. Okay, so each of these have an inner cooler. Yeah, there's water goes through here. And you know, this is in and out for water, ocean water. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the R&D to do an engine like this is massive. Money, time, and effort. You know, the companies have 50 employees, they can do that. But just so Kevin and I, and we'd rather go to backyard. Bonneville than spend all day working yeah. on this. We've yeah. been on the dyno four times, and it's a major job. It's an all day job, just put on the dyno and make a couple pulls. And then you gotta go there the next day and the next day and mm -hmm. gas and spark plugs and yeah uh, it's just well that's why we, we wanted to put in a in a truck because getting on a, a chassis dyno is way faster than an engine dyno <laughs> <laughs> just drive in yeah you can put it in a truck well this is definitely a unique power plant and i'm sure the folks will really enjoy seeing this and i think they will really enjoy if they hear it run someday in the future so We'll keep us right. keep us uh, in line for that and let us know. And I like the the inspection there, window there, here. There is some video of it running on that our Dima Braun website or Facebook page. Yeah, on that Dima Braun Facebook. Yeah, that's where you can find more information. Well, that is fantastic. I do like the uh, the visual. So was there? Is that just a an added little benefit to have that so we can it's see if oiling and see if the oiling was puddling or anything like that That's you can see neat. the two intake valves and the one exhaust valve rockers um, and there it is right there the Ardema and Braun really cool well thank you guys